It's on my head. <laughs> I have a delightful little hat. Hello, my friends. I'm Rusty. I'm back again, and today I'm going to show you some crazy lethal company mobs that have been added to Minecraft. Let's go. First up, we have Coil Head, essentially the lethal company version of a weeping angel. Hello. Ah, what? Why is he attacking me? I'm looking directly at his head. Stop. Good. Eye contact. Stop. 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 This guy is essentially, or at least supposed to be, a weeping angel. You look him in the eyes, he can't move. It looks like they've changed that for the mob. They've made it so that there's a timer. And when that timer goes off, he becomes stuck. Paralyzed. But then when that timer ends, he's free to run around and be him. So he's not that deadly. Just very annoying. <laughs> Next up we have the hoarding bug. This I've actually encountered in game. And let me tell you, they are not fun. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> It looks exactly like him. He's kind of cute. I love the noise, and he looks adorable. And if I hit him... <laughs> what is up with this flying? Look at that. Him flying in the air is the funniest thing. Look at that! His legs are just waving in the air. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's so funny. The real thing is a lot scarier. Next up, we have the Bracken. I had a slight encounter with this guy. Didn't actually get attacked by him, though. Hello. Hello! He's essentially a plant monster. He has brown skin, white eyes, and ferns growing out of his back. Not that deadly. Not very weak either. Are you gonna kill me? Or are you just gonna keep staring at me making weird noises? Hit me! Hit me! Oh! I just heard the noise of my neck breaking. On guard, leaf boy! Ah! That was unbelievably easy. Next up we have Thumper. I don't know what that is. Oh! Oh my gosh! What is it? it? Looks like a mutated human being. Sounds like a T-Rex. Looks kind of like the Demogorgon and crawls across the ground. Can I just get behind you for one second? That doesn't sound right. Look at that. He's got three tiny bloody legs. Two arms that look kind of like a dog's. He's got beady black eyes. Well, not really beady. They're quite large. An interesting looking mouth that appears to be covered with blood. And his head looks like the Demogorgon. All of them seem to do about the same amount of damage. One or two hearts when wearing netherite armor. I take the armor off. It does like three hearts of damage. Ow. So it feels like the nether armor is doing a lot of protection, but still, you could survive four or five hits from these guys. Yeah! And none of them are that difficult to kill either. It dropped beef. That thing was not a cow. Do not try to explain to me that that was a cow. That, it's not. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. You'll see a ton. Now, on with the show. Next up we have Jester. What is this? It's a, a music box with legs and an arm. When is it gonna stop? Boom! Where are you gonna pop out? He never actually goes pop goes the weasel. Or do you never pop out? Is that your shtick? You don't actually ever pop. Okay then. If he was supposed to pop and didn't, and I didn't show it to you guys, I'm sorry, but that was taking forever. And I am not the most patient human being. Next up we have the eyeless dog, or as me and Legum like to call them, the hounds. Uh, these guys are kind of like the wardens of Lethal Company. They cannot see, but they can hear. As you can see, it cannot hear me through my microphone, which is not true Lethal Company, but as long as I'm shifting and not making any noises, it cannot find me. See? And then as soon as I chew on some beef. Ah, there he goes aggro. Yeah. Ow. I've had my limp lethal company body thrown around by one of these things before. I don't like it. I did not like having my lethal company body flung around, so that felt really good. Raw pork chop. Stop trying to make these mobs into Minecraft animals. That thing is not a pig. It's a dog. It's in the name. Dogs don't drop pork chops. Next up we have the snare flea. Okay. Oh, it's, um, that's not really a, f a flea. It's more like a roly-poly meets a centipede. Just a little bug that nibbles at your ankles and makes your skin crawl. Oh, no! Uh, it's on my head. <laughs> I have a delightful little hat. It's not trying to hurt me. But now it's dead. Next up, we have the man-eater. Ooh, I like the name. Oh, it's adorable. It looks like a... Best friends forever? He's my pet! I have a pet land hoarding bug. Cool! Now, I'm going to do the sensible thing that everyone does to their pets. TEST THEIR LOYALTY! Ah! I am so sorry. It's crying. Ah! What is that?! Um, what is that thing? I'm assuming it grew up, but I'm not sure. Next up we have the Manier Adult, which is I'm pretty sure what we just saw. Yup, it is. 
So I hit the thing once, it cried, and it suddenly grew to adulthood through the trauma that I inflicted upon it. Next up we have Ghost Girl. <laughs> wow, very descriptive name. She's a very pale girl in a pink dress, and she's got brown hair. Her eyes are sunken, and she's looking directly at me. This is the most passively unnerving thing I've ever seen. What? Ah! You laugh at the pain. Well, a coincidence, I laugh at pain too. Or I scream, or yell. Next up we have the Hydro Deer. So it's a deer made of water. Or it's a John Deere tractor that works under the sea. That could work too. Oh, it's a slime! That's what the name is for this thing. It's essentially an Amobius ooze that, like, melts your ankles. You stand it and it slowly ticks down your health bar until you die. Interesting. And it dropped a slime ball. See, that actually makes sense. Next up we have Forest Keeper. Oh my good gracious. What is it? It's like a living thorn. It's got a face on both sides of its head. It doesn't really have a head, just as a body. Those fists are kind of cartoonish. Um, I've been devoured. He isn't hurting me, but I'm stuck inside him. Haha, <laughs> look at this, I can change his orientation, but I cannot control where he moves. I'm just stuck. I can't hurt him either. Oh, I can just shift my way out. So all he does is trap me. I see. This thing has a lot of health. Come on, die. I want to see what you drop. Literally nothing. Next up we have the Nutcracker. So I believe this guy has a shotgun, if I remember correctly. Hello. Ah! What? You couldn't have given me an actual shotgun, instead you just shoot little fluffy balls? I mean, like, pearls. He's spitting pearls at me. I wish he had a shotgun. You kept the rounds, but just didn't give him the shotgun, so I don't know why he did that. Okay, hit his legs and it hurts him. Yup, so you should've- They should've centered the hitbox to only the little thing up there. The little dude inside. And they also should've actually given him a gun. That would've been really nice. He dropped an iron nugget. A singular iron nugget. Next up we have the Spore Lizard. I don't like that name. That name makes me cringe. Um, mm-hmm. Well. Oh, it's got- It's got six teeth. It looks like a living sock leech. Whoa, hey! I hit once and it created a cloud of purple smoke. Every time you hit it, it creates a cloud of pearl smoke, I can't see. Oh, it reminds me of spores. I've just inhaled like 10,000 evil lizard spores. I really do like these particle effects, those are really cool. Next up we have the Bunker Spider. I faced one of these before too. Oh, hello. It's a lot smaller. The real Bunker Spiders are like bigger than you are. This guy is kind of small for his size. Oh, he jumps at you though. I think they just retextured the regular spider. Oh, they made it better. This is what Minecraft spiders should be like. They should be able to spit webs at you to make you not move anywhere. That'd be really cool. Next up we have the Baboon Hawk. That sounds like a genetic mutation I'd really like to see. Oh! <laughs> what is this face? The noise it makes is kinda cool. Attacks just like the other mobs. Can you fly? Can you chase me into the air? No, it runs. And it drops a feather. Next up we have the old bird. So is it an actual bird or is it a human? Um, what is it? I don't know what this is. It looks like a boombox. He doesn't do anything, he just stands still. It's a statue. Next up we have the Mask Hornet. Really? What just happened? All it was was a little bug, and it flew into me, and did literally nothing. What? I'm confused, a bug just crawled up my nose, and then vanished. Next up we have the Butler. Hello. He looks like Uncle Lester from the Adams Family. He's wearing a suit, his eyes have no soul behind them, and his hair is sticking up behind- it looks kind of like roots. He's aggressive. He just kind of punches you repeatedly. Ah! Oh, and he releases maggots. Next up we have the red tulip snake, followed by the blue tulip snake, and the yellow tulip snake. Oh! It's- I wouldn't call this a snake. I'd call it a winged lizard. Its head looks really strange. It's got, like, Draco lizard wings, two tiny legs, and it levitates you into the air. I'm assuming the other two are the same. They have four eyes, but the only difference between them is they have a different color around their neck. I would not call them snakes, but they're still cool. Next up we have the mask. So I'm assuming this is a lethal company worker who put on the mask. Yup it is. That is scary. He punches you. I kind of wish they incorporated the mask effect into this. Like that'd be really cool. Like you put on the mask and then you become one of the masks, like that'd be super sweet. Because I know that's what happens in the real game, so why not add it to Minecraft? I don't know how you code that, but it'd be really cool to see. Next up we have the Manticore. So it's gonna be a coil head, but a Manticore at the same time. It's none of those things. It is a yellow 
chicken bird spider. Ha! Next up we have the circuit bee. It's a firefly. Next up we have Kidnapper Fox. It sounds like a children's book character. That is not a fox. Oh my good gracious! That's not a fox. I don't know what that is, but it's not a fox. It's a demon. It looks like barbed wire meets like leaves and moss. Its tongue is unbelievably long and its teeth, its mouth is just bent unnaturally. It's more of a wolf than a fox and even then it's not much of a fox. Just look at this guy. Tell me that this is a fox and I wouldn't believe you. It's got its frog tongue for Pete's sake and its mouth is ridiculous. What is that noise? It yips and drops the leather so that I can craft some armor out of my fox carcass. Next up we have the barber. What? Ah! He makes an accordion noise when he vanishes. Ah! He is a very large, pale blue human with a massive set of scissors who makes an accordion noise whenever he vanishes. He's not that dangerous, honestly. How much health you got? He's pretty beefy and he dropped clay. And last but not least, we have the vein shroud. It is a bush. It is literally just a cool looking bush. I just fought sentient grass. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a blast reacting to all of these crazy lethal company mobs in Minecraft. And I'll catch you next time. Sayonara. Ayonara.